Mustangs. Mrs. Belcher here and today is Thursday, October the 28th, 2021. And since today is kind of like Friday this week, since we don't have school tomorrow, let's celebrate. So right now, everybody give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a high five. And in honor of Red Ribbon Week, turn to your neighbor and say, I agree to live drug free. And now look at your neighbor again and say, you're awesome. Now, does everyone remember the sign language that we learned yesterday? Our sign from yesterday was haunted house. Try it with me, Mustangs. Haunted house. Great job, Mustangs. And now it is time for our word of the week with my favorite dinosaur and friend, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here we go, Mustangs. <laughs> Our word of the week is consequences. And today, let's see just how much you've learned this week about our word consequences. Now, remember, Mustangs, that consequences or end results can be good or bad. So today, we're going to do our quiz a little differently, okay? Today, I'm going to tell you a scenario or a story, and you are going to show if the consequences or the end result will be good or bad, all right? Now, remember, Mustangs, this is how you make the sign for good. You keep your hand facing up. You start at your chin. Keep your hand facing up like that. Okay? And this is how you make the sign for bad. Start at your chin just like you did with good. But instead of leaving your hand facing up, you turn it over flat like that. Bad. Turn it away from you. So good and bad. All right? All right, here we go. Tyrannosaurus Rex climbs a fence post when I told him not to. Are the results going to be good or bad? If you said bad, you are 100% correct. And we know from past stories that it did end up badly for Tyrannosaurus Rex but he learned a valuable lesson. All right, here's your next question. Tyrannosaurus Rex does all his homework. Good consequences, good end result. Good job, guys. Tyrannosaurus Rex makes the decision to eat 500 cheeseburgers. Bad, very good. That would have very bad consequences. That's a very unhealthy choice, and it would probably make his tummy hurt, too. All right, Tyrannosaurus Rex cleans his room and does all his chores. Good consequences, good end result. Good job. Tyrannosaurus Rex makes a healthy choice to always Stay drug free. Good consequences. That's right. And if you want to have good or positive end results or consequences, you have to start by making good positive choices. So this week and every week, think about what good healthy choices you can make so that you can have good, healthy consequences. Tune in next week for a new word of the week. And now it is time to learn our sign of the day. And today we're going to learn our final Halloween sign. And our sign for today is skeleton. Now this one is gonna be 
so easy for all of my Mustangs. Do you remember Mummy? Do you remember Bat? Your little Bat Claw? Well, Mustangs, to make the sign for skeleton, you're going to show me two fingers on each hand. You're going to bend them like this. You're going to cross your arms and you're going to tap your shoulders. Right? So mummy is flat hands like this. Bat is your little bat claws. One finger tap tap. Skeleton is two on each hand. Clap, or tap tap. Got it? Try it with me, Mustangs. Skeleton. Good job, Mustangs. Today we have two Mustangs celebrating a birthday. Raylan Walls in the first grade and also Miss Dyke in the first grade. So happy birthday to you, Raylan and Miss Dyke, and we hope that you both have a wonderful day today. Now tomorrow on Friday, October the 29th, we don't have any Mustang birthdays to celebrate. However, on Saturday, October the 30th, we have two Mustangs celebrating a birthday. Miss Halsey in the fifth grade and Miss Belcher in the, well, right here. <laughs> so a happy birthday to you, Miss Halsey, and to me. And we hope you have an amazing day, Miss Halsey, and I hope I do too. Now, lunch for today will be chicken nuggets with a Dutch waffle, seasoned green beans, sweet potato fries, and your choice of fruit and milk. Lunch for Monday will be a fall favorite. Tomato soup with a grilled cheese sandwich, salad with ranch dressing, and your choice of fruit and milk. Now, please know that menu items are subject to change and may not always match what is on the menu calendar. Schools will be closed tomorrow, October the 29th. And schools will also be closed next Tuesday, November the 2nd for Election Day. Now, this week, we are celebrating Red Ribbon Week to say no to drugs. And today we have a very special message from our one and only Dr. Markham. So take it away, Dr. Markham. Hi, Mustangs. And you know, at Medivy Elementary School, we just love our students. We want you to be happy, healthy, lead fun, wonderful, productive lives. And we know that by making healthy choices like staying drug free, you're more likely to live the best life you possibly can. So take a moment to commit to yourself that you'll continue to make healthy choices to ensure a brighter future. You won't regret it, trust me. Uh, we can't wait to see all the great things, things that are in store for Mustangs, all that you will accomplish. And one way to make sure you accomplish all those dreams, all those goals, Teachers, I will share a Red Ribbon Week folder with everyone on Google Drive to help collect pictures from each day for our yearbook. And thank you to everyone for helping out with the photos. You all are amazing and your help is very much appreciated. I promise you that. Now it is time, Mustangs. What do you mean time for what? <laughs> it's time to reveal the identity of our mystery reader. But first, Mustang detectives, let's review our clues. I can operate construction equipment. I have four dogs who are puppies. I live on a farm with horses and cattle. And last but not least, number four, my name has recently changed. 
Any ideas, Mustang? Are you ready to find out who our mystery reader is? Okay, here we go. Hello, boys and girls. It's me, Miss Ratliff. I'm your mystery reader for this week. Some of you may know me still as Miss Stoffel. But this week, I am going to be reading you the good, the bad, and the spooky. It was Miss Ratliff! You rascal! It was so nice getting to know you this week. And we are so happy to have you as part of our Mustang family. So, teachers, please take time today to share Miss Ratliff's Read Aloud video when you have a chance. Now I'm gonna shuffle up to my little corner. If everyone will please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now if everyone will please pause for a moment of silence. That's all for now, Mustangs. Everyone have a thrilling, thoughtful Thursday. And as always, be excellent to each other. I love you, Mustangs, and I will see you later.